Hi, I'm Lana, and I'm here at the souped-up garage of Source Interlink Media. They publish some of the auto industry's most noteworthy magazines. We're here to show you how Pioneer makes it simple, a four-part video series created to shed some light on the basics of car audio. We'll walk you through the process from research to installation, and hopefully we'll address some common concerns and dispel some common myths along the way. So what do you say? Are you along for the ride? In this video, we'll start from the beginning. So why should you even consider upgrading the audio system that comes with your car? Well, let's find out. So what do you need to get started? Well, really that's up to you, your listening preferences, and what kind of features you want to add to your car. You can go from mild to wild, but a basic system usually consists of a deck and four. That's a radio plus two front speakers and two rear speakers. From here, you can take it a step further by adding a subwoofer for bass and an amp for power. So let me stop talking and show you a quick example of the difference between a stock system and an aftermarket system. Have you ever seen the stock speakers that come with your car? You probably never cared, right? Well, let's take a look. On okay. the left here, you have a paper cone speaker. On the right, you hear with our entry level speakers, we have a polypropylene cone. The difference between the two cones is that the, pe the paper cone is a lot softer and, and less rigid. It says it's produced the sound as well as a, as a more rigid cone. The rigid this is the cone, entry level? This is our so entry So I'm going from speaker. this to this just in one step? Yes. That's amazing. Yeah, very easy step. This magnet actually drives the speaker and makes it able to produce a lot better sound and frequencies out of it. We bump in. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you definitely will be bumping. So now let's compare between our, our entry level speaker okay. and our higher end speaker. Wow, that one's yeah. nice and heavy too. Yeah, as you can see, it's a heavier speaker. We have a bigger magnet on this one than we do versus our entry level speaker. The other differences you're going to notice about this speaker is that we actually added a crossover network. The reason for this is that it allows the woofer to produce a, high, a lower sound. Your center tweeter now also can now produce higher frequencies like cymbals or voices, vocal uh, reproduction as well. When building cars, car manufacturers have a long list of priorities to deal with when choosing parts. With aftermarket, you, the consumer, are making the choice and therefore even the most basic aftermarket products can be a significant improvement over stock. Now let's talk about the radio, or what we call the head unit, and what a big difference that can make. Replacing your stock radio usually results in better sound because it increases power and lowers distortion. Obviously this means the system can play louder to overcome road noise or wind noise but it also means the sound will be cleaner and clearer, regardless of how loud you're listening to it. We'll play you a sample of a stock system with a factory head unit and speakers. Take a listen. I wish that I could close my eyes and let my mind just up and run away. Now we've swapped out just the head unit to an aftermarket CD player. Remember, we haven't even changed the speakers. We're simply listening to increase power and increase sound quality, simply by replacing the head unit. Although it might be tough for you to hear in this video, I really can hear the difference with just this upgrade. Trust me, the sound is so much more alive. I wanna lose is the power for the entire system, it is also the brains and allows for other convenient options. Almost all aftermarket products will of course play your favorite CDs and some head units will even play DVDs for your passengers. And in today's connected world, being able to connect to all your devices is king. If you want to be able to use your favorite features and products you have at home in your car, play your music library, listen to Pandora Internet Radio, or even use some of your phone's features, the latest head units offer all that and more. In fact, some kind of smartphone integration is now readily available on most aftermarket in-dash products, and they're capable of bringing features from your phone more safely to a larger screen in your dash. You'll need an iPod cable for your audio or video, and your device's cable as well. They hook up just like this. You can even keep a second device in your glove box so your music is always ready. GPS navigation is standard equipment on many new luxury cars, but what if you aren't in the market for a new car? An aftermarket GPS head unit might be the right solution for you. Some of these units even take navigation a step further and offer real-time updates on traffic conditions and will suggest alternate routes around heavy traffic. 
Now, if you're the type that has to have the latest technology, the coolest new cell phone, computer, or gadget, you have to check out advanced entertainment features such as internet streaming for music, video, podcasts, and even social media updates. But let's not forget that to keep safe driving in mind, most products have a safety mechanism in place, so certain video functions are disabled unless the vehicle is stopped and the parking brake is enabled. Now speaking of convenience and safety, Bluetooth connectivity is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. In most states, it's illegal to hold your cell phone, talk, and drive at the same time. If your cell phone has Bluetooth, and most now do, a Bluetooth head unit will connect wirelessly to your phone and turn your car into a rolling speakerphone. You'll be able to take and make calls through the speakers of your vehicle, and most importantly, stay focused on the road. So remember, if you're a first-time upgrader, these entertainment and convenience features will not only change your daily habits, but also make your routine more enjoyable. Paying a little extra to have a better driving experience with great sound, entertainment, and connectivity options right at your fingertips is well worth it. Even traffic won't get you down. So stay tuned for our next video as we discuss why so many car audio enthusiasts ask for Pioneer by name.